Item number 11. If P equal to 3, 5, 7, Q equal to 3, 6, and S equal to 4, 5, then P intersect Q intersect S is? What we're going to do, we're going to look for the term for the number that is common to all three sets. So when you look here, 2 is common to all three sets. That means that would be the intersection. So A is the answer here. Item 12 refers to the following Venn diagram. And here you can see the Venn diagram. Everything is shaded except P. In the Venn diagram, the shaded area represent shading area is going to represent p complement and that's going to be a what p complements mean it means everything outside of p okay item 13 if tt dollars if tt six dollars is equivalent to us one dollar then tt fifteen dollars in us is going to be now if you note here, for one US dollar, that is equivalent to six dollars, right? In TT dollars, that means we want to find find how many of fifteen TT dollars going to equivalent to in terms of US. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to divide. So it's going to be fifteen dollars divided by six dollars. Right? And 15 divided by 6 is going to equal to 2.5. So our answer is going to be $2.50. It's going to be C here. All right. If 7,000 is borrowed at a rate of 5% per annum for three years, the simple interest is simple interest which is si in this case is going to equal to the principal which is p in this case times the rate which is r in this case and the rate is in percentage times time which is t in this case over 100. Right? All you're going to do, you're just going to substitute the values for P, R, and T. So P in this case is going to be the 7,000. So it's going to equal to 7,000 times the rate, which is 5 in this case, times the time which is three all divided by 100 percent now zero here will cancel out zero here this zero will cancel out this zero so what we're left back with is 70 times 5 times 3 so 3 times 5 that's going to be 15 and 15 times 70 that is going to equal to $1,050. So our answer is going to be D in this case. Number 15, a dress which costs $180 is being sold at a discount of 10%. The amount of the discount is, it's just going to be 10% of the cost price and remember that 10% is the same thing as 10, 10 over 100. Times the cost price, which is 180 in this case. Zero here will cancel out zero here. This zero will cancel out the zero here. And all we left back with is us 18, so it's going to be C in this case. Number 16, the value of a plot of land is $18,000. Land tax is charged at a rate of 0.70 per $100 value. 
what is the total amount of tax paid for the land? Now, note the rate here. The rate is 70 cents per $1,000, per $100, right? And they told us that the cost of land is going to be 18,000. So what we need to do, we need to determine how many 100 we can get out of 18,000. So it's going to be 18,000 divided by 100. And we are going to multiply it by the rate, which is zero. 0 0.70 in this case so here 0 will cancel out 0 0 will cancel out 0 so all we left back with is 180 times 0 0.70 and 180 times 0 0.70 that's going to give us 126 so our answer is going to be b all right Item 17. At the end of any year, a car is worth 5% less than what it was worth at the beginning of the year. Now, if it, if it is worth 5% less, in other words, the car is now valued at 95%, right? That's what we know. All right, continuing. If a car was worth 9500 in December 2016, then the value in January 2016 was? So we don't know the value in January 2016. So let's call that X, right? And what we know is going to be the value of the car in January 2016 is going to be 95% of some money, which is X, which is going to equal to the cost of the car at the beginning of the year, which is 9,500. Now 95% as a fraction is just 95 over 100. So it's going to be 95, x over 100 which is going to equal to 95 9500 right and if we want to find x and remember that x is the value of the car in 2016 so if we want to find the value of x all we need to do is to multiply both sides by 100 over 95 because we want to transpose this to make x the subject of the formula so if we multiply this side by 100 over 95 what we're going to lift back with on this side is x and what we're going to have on this side is 9500 multiplied by 100 over 95 95 into 95 that's going to be 1 95 into 9500 that's going to be 100 and 100 times 100 that's going to be 10,000 so a correct answer for number 17 is going to be B Number 18, a loan of $8,000 was repaid in 24 equal months installment of $400. The rate of interest on the loan was? Now first we need to find the total amount of money paid for installment. So the total amount of money repaid is going to be 24 times 400 right and 24 times 400 that's going to give us 9000 
600. So we know that the total amount of money that is repaid is 9,600. So for us to determine the interest, therefore, I'm going to use I for interest. So the interest is going to be equal to the 9,600 minus the loan that was borrowed, which is $8,000. And therefore, the interest, which is I in this case, is going to equal to 1,600 is equal to 1,600. So now that we know the, the interest, we can represent the interest as a percent of the original loan. So it's going to be it's going to be 1600 divided by 8000. And because we want to represent it as a percent, we must multiply by 100. And zero will cancel out zero here. Zero will cancel out zero here. 16 into 16 that's going to give us 1 and 16 into 80 that's going to give us 5 and 5 into 5 that's going to give us 1 and 5 into 100 that's going to give us 20. So therefore as a percentage it's going to be 20 percent all right so answer is going to be D in this case. Number 19, a dinner at a restaurant was advertised at $60 plus 18% tax. The total bill for the dinner was, we need to find the amount of money for the tax. So the amount of money for the tax is going to be 18% and 18% here just means 18 over 100 of the cost price, so it's times the cost price, which is $60. Now here, zero will cancel out, zero. And 10 into 18, that's going to give us 1.8. So we're going to have 1.8 times six. And 1.8 times 6, that's going to give us 10.8. So that's going to give us 10.8. So therefore, the tax on the food is going to be $10.80. But remember that the total bill is going to be the original cost for the food, which is $60 plus the tax. So it's, we're going to add $60 to the tax and 60 plus 10, that's going to give us $70.80. So our answer is going to be B in this case. At a sale, each book was marked $3 of the original price. Daniel paid $40. Six dollars for two books that had the same sale price. What was the original cost of one book? Right? So we know that he bought two books for for forty-six dollars, right? After the sale price was removed. So it's going to be forty-six dollars divided by two which is going to give us $23. But remember that $3 was removed of each book before it was given the total price. So we need to add back that $3. So it's going to be 23 plus three, which is going to give us a final price of $26, all right?
So the task of one book was actually $26. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, subscribe if you are new, share and comment.